Hi guys, welcome back to Jody Lewis Creations. In today's video, we're just gonna have a short video. I am experimenting with dyeing some paper. I need a specific color and hopefully this is going to work. So Mark is helping me. Um, he's being arms and legs. We're gonna go around the yard. We're going to cut some fern fronds. I have these really pretty, um, let me turn my, where's the button? Oh, it won't let me, hang on. Okay, we have these really pretty orange lilies over here that we're going to use. Um, we have some ferns that are on the back side of the barn over there. There's some, I think, no, we cut them. So anyway, so we have that and then over here in this bin. Okay, so in this bin so far is some ground coffee, instant coffee, just cheap Walmart instant coffee. Um, it's just classic roast. I don't know, if, I don't think that's gonna be enough, but I have to see what color the water looks like. And we have this ground turmeric. We were in, we take turmeric for um, anti-inflammatory properties. And so this guy that was working in Costco one day says, oh, well just drink the, the ground. It's cheaper than the capsules. Yeah, we tried that and that's a hard pass, thank you. And then over here, we have some rusty bits. And over here, we have some more rusty bits. So I have some, 60 pound paper, I have some 32 pound paper, some index cards, and not quite the variety that I would normally dye, but I am dying for a specific project. So hopefully this is gonna come out the color that we need. There's some water boiling on the stove, so what I'm gonna do is get the clippings in between the folded pages. We're gonna use twine to tie it into a bundle, and then we're gonna put the hot boiling water in here, the paper, and put a brick on top to hold it down. So when it's like, once I have the bundle made, or as I'm folding the papers and putting the bits in, I'll show you once we have the bundle made, and then once it's in the boiling water, then we're gonna let it sit for a half hour or so at least, and then hopefully be able to gently undo the papers and lay them in the sun while it's warm enough to allow them to dry. I have my flowers here. Okay, so I have my flowers here, and um, I can't do this and hold the phone. I'm going to start disassembling these petals and laying them on the paper, and um, I'll try my best here. I'm just going to lay them and try to get them relatively flat, so then when we close the paper, they'll be in there, and hopefully we'll get some design. So basically, we have our bits in there, and I've thrown some rusty washers in there. And I'm just kind of alternating with the leaves and some fern. And then um, I'm going to tie it all up. True to Jody fashion, I made it too fat. So we're going to have to do this in two batches. So what we've done on the top here is there's some rusty bits out of this bin. And extra turmeric and extra ground um, instant coffee. And so Mark is going to get the hot water right now. So when he's back out with the water, we'll watch that go in and here he comes so he's gonna pour that in so we're gonna watch that happen very carefully so we don't get toes or anything Boy, I can feel the heat coming like that. don't know if there's enough color in that so we might have to add some more to it okay cool okay so now we set a timer and uh, we let that soak and do its thing for a little while. Okay, so 30 minutes is up. Mark is getting a tong, set of tongs and something. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lift this brick off and I'm going to set it just to the side. I can do that now. Oh, this has got some really wonderful color. So I'm super hopeful that we're gonna have a good result. So what I'm going to do is have Mark help me carry it over and I'm going to lay it on the driveway over there because the sun can bake it dry. And I'm going to leave the bits in. I'm going to leave it folded in half till it gets uh, dry enough to handle it. And then we'll start opening them and pulling the bits out. But it is going to require his help because I cannot get down on the ground. Look at this color, you guys. Oh my goodness. I wanted a really orangey yellow color. So hopefully, oh, look at the rusty. Oh yeah. 
okay so change of plans mark remembered that i had said i wanted to use this trailer because those little bits of the grates should give us some really really interesting designs in our papers as they dry and it's in the sun so i'm really hoping this is going to give us some darker richer color on our pages and this is a total experiment so i have no idea how it's going to turn out so we have to be really really careful because these are wet and so really really fragile and i'm trying to be careful and save these rusty bits because i reuse them now I haven't used this trailer before. This is actually my son's trailer, but him and dad have been doing a lot of work on it. So I'm commandeering it for the day, for the air. And these little bits, I'm not as worried about all that little bit. That's not gonna hurt anything. And that is a 60 pound piece of paper there. Oh my gosh, this color is fantastic. Ooh, maybe I'll just leave the leaf on while it dries. Ooh, I didn't get the it didn't soak all the way through but i think that's going to be okay now these are folded in half and i think i'm going oh it didn't saturate poop okay that's okay oh these were the pieces that i just put in that were just folded in half there's nothing in between these okay so I'm going to gently unfold these and hopefully as they dry, they'll at least get some um, mm -hmm, design. Ooh, but the center's got cool color. So these will at least get some design hopefully from drying on the trailer. And I can't do this one handed, but I always get so excited when I unfold these. So I was hoping we would get something Oh, that is so cool looking, you guys. Oh, if I could make digitals, that would be way cool. Even if I just scanned those. I, I don't know. I think I know. This could be dangerous. I think I know how to at least layer flowers into an image for a digital. Oh, now there's one. There's one. Okay, so now we had something exciting. I'm going to continue to un- cover these and then uh, let them dry. Why is that being weird? Okay, so these are super awesome and exactly in the <clears throat> right color family for what I'm looking for. So we have yellows and oranges. We have some greens. Um, we have some blues and purple nuances, which I think is coming from the plants for sure. We have some that it didn't soak all the way through, but that's okay because those are gonna be really, really cool. I'm in the, sh I'm shadowing you. Really, really cool. Yeah, but let's put those on one of the pages that, like that one, that super yellow one right there with the, the fronds. And we the, like, look at those index cards. Like, aren't those wicked cool? So I'm really excited to see what these do having dried in the sun. And if that's going to darken our colors or not. I can see that one with the two washers on it has a lot of turmeric just sitting on top, but that's okay. Hopefully that will just wipe off when we're done. So you guys remember how orange these lily leaves were? And there is zero pigment left. Oh, huh? oh, those might be the pink ones. Hang on, let's do one more. The orange ones kept it. That must have been a pink one. But even still, look how much pigment's pulled out of those. A lot, all the orange is gone. Blue. It's really cool, like what they've done. Okay guys, it's a couple days later. The second batch is over here and we had let it sit overnight as like an experiment to see what happened. And I will say that the first batch I like better because they're more vibrant, but I'll still use the second batch because they're super grungy. And you can see here, I still have some debris stuck to my pages and um, I'm not sure if I'm going to try to pick those off or not. So some of the pages got really um, torn and that's a piece. Oh, there's the top of that one. That's why I couldn't find it. <laughs> But that's okay because the reason that I dyed these, I think that the more grunge is gonna be really awesome. So I'm super happy with them. So we'll just do a quick flip through. 
I will say that some of them I need to wipe down, like for the turmeric and stuff that's on there. Like it's like a powder. Obviously, the turmeric was a powder, but I got some really cool color. And um, I'm not worried about like these tears and stuff. I think I can work them into my design for what I wanted these for. Um, but it's really gonna take me a minute to um, clean them up. And like the columbine leaves, we realized that they were doing more damage if they started to dry on the paper at all. So we know now not to use the columbine leaves in the dyeing. And so like this one is just covered in, um, the turmeric powder but that's okay because it will come off so i'm gonna have it all over my table but it's okay it'll come off but these little dots here that's from the trailer and how the trailer um gave it pattern like there's a stamen there that was laying on there so that's kind of cool and the, both sides are different so oops and i love this one like this one is so cool i think that's gonna make a really neat like pocket, I'll probably just tear that there and allow that to be jagged like that. And again, the reason that I dyed these, the grunge is great. So I love that. That almost looks like a dragonfly wing with the way those petals were on there. And then see more debris. I'm gonna have to clean my table. So after I film this, I will um, wipe them down and then get it cleaned up. And even the ones that I thought didn't have much color actually came out beautifully. So I'm really, really pleased. I love when I get the fern print in there. The ferns are some of my favorite. I had a smoke bush and it gave me amazing color, but it um, is no longer with us, which is pretty sad to me because I loved it so much, but I mean, things happen. So, um, now the project that I did these for is only eight inches tall and while my papers are eight and a half inches, so I am going to have some strips off of these papers that, um, one inch strips basically, but I'm hoping I can use those for like stamping words or whatever. So this is the first batch. So this is what you've seen in the video so far that I was like talking about and sharing. And then the second batch was such that Mark was like, well, let's just let them soak overnight and see what happens. So we did. And the result is totally different. Totally different. He says they just look brown and they are. They picked up more of the coffee, I think. Um, so you can see, I mean, there is some nuance of the turmeric in them, but not a lot. Like, I really like this one. This one's really eclectic with the colors and design. And on the back side, the turmeric kind of pooled on the trailer, and so I have little yellow dots on it. And again, these are all actually very perfect for the project that I'm going to use them for and really gonna give me some really amazing bits to work with. So the project, oh, love that one. You're not gonna see until January. Um, but I thought I could go ahead and share with you the dyeing process because that's not giving any secrets away. So like that, love it. And just wipe that off a little bit and that powder comes off and I do love the turmeric. So one thing, Mark was so cute. He was like, well, I, they, I don't really like doing this, but you're so excited about it. Look at that. Oh, and it pulls, it wicks. So what happens is it's on the trailer and whatever, it's like wicking away from the little doodads on the trailer deck, which is so cool. And he was like, I don't really like doing this, but you get so excited about it, <laughs> which I do. I mean, I love dyeing paper. It's something I can't control the results of, so I really appreciate that. I just have to let it go. And then it's like mad scientists when you uncover stuff and see what you get. Um, anyway, so have different size envelopes here. You can see um, I have like this one. I was curious how this was going to dry because... You can see this was like a big goober of the turmeric. And look at that color. Oh my gosh, look at that. And normally I would have taken like some stencils or my vinyl placemats down, but yeah, maybe next time. Let me put that in the trash here. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I mean, that's just kind of the gist of what we got. And I do encourage you just to play. I was trying to do more natural stuff with this. 
And these are really tattered and torn and that's okay. I'm okay with that. So, but you can see like the different sides with the different color. I love eco dyeing. Ooh, now that one didn't tear up the paper. But the weather was different yesterday too than it was the day before when we were doing this. So, oh my gosh. Well, I was really struggling with finding some creative mojo this morning. And uh, I think that this helped. Oh, that's going to be awesome. I'm telling you, these colors are absolutely perfect for my project. Okay. So anyway, and the turmeric stains. So if you're going to dye paper with turmeric, wear gloves for sure. Because you will be yellow when you're done. And even with coffee, it stains. But the turmeric really stains. Oh, so cool. Okay. So that is that. I have big mess to clean up now. And I mean, look at that with the fern leaves and the wire that was wound up and look at all that mess in there I've got to clean up. But now that it's dry, it just comes off. And then you can see what's underneath it. So anyway, I hope this inspires you. Um, I love doing it. It really, I just have a lot of fun doing it. And I'm going to have to coffee dye because I don't think I have enough coffee dye paper to get through any winter projects. Um, and for those of you who, like, Kirsten, you're so cute. I am filming a project right now. I'm struggling because I'm trying to film a project now for January and then also work on current content. My brain doesn't work on two projects at one time very well. See how yellow? Um, so bear with me as I get through this, but, um, I will have some content for you in January and hopefully as we travel, I'll be able to share some travel videos with you too. So thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you're inspired to get some things out and play and dye some paper. If you do, please share pictures in my Facebook group and the link to my Facebook group is down below. Please make sure you're answering the questions because if I don't recognize your name and you don't answer the questions, I'm not going to let you come in. I'm sorry. That's just to try to prevent spammers. Um, we know we have so many of those now. We really have to worry about it. Um, but I would love for you to be able to be in the group, share your creations and inspiration, and it's a different place for us to connect and communicate with one another. So thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next video. Bye.